In this video, let us understand how to make Port Trust Administration. Port is a seaport where ships will come across the globe and there were goods. The goods will be unloaded and sometimes goods will be loaded and they'll go away from the port. So here we'll understand complete idea how we can make a project, particularly web application project based on this concept. So we'll show the demo in ASP.NET with C Sharp and SQL Server as a backend. So this is for a computer science student who wish to do a project as well their curriculum. It may be a mini or major project. So here we'll explain you everything. What are the requirements in order to make this project and what are the things we can provide? Port Trust Board is a statutory authority responsible for managing shipping and trade through commercial seaport. India's first port, Trust Board, was established for Calcutta Port in 1870. Following passage of the Bombay Port Trust Act 1879, similar boards were set up in Madras in 1905. Means the overall meaning is that in India we have a port trust, so managed by the government. So they are the responsible body to manage all the activities in the port. So let's understand how the port. So here you can see that that uh, birth actually. So there are different birth. Depend on the what material the ships will bring or are take away from this particular port. So based on that there are different birth. So you can see birth 1, 2, 3, 4. So same as 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and then here is the different birth actually. So here you can see that these are the coal. Okay, So where they want to transport the coal. There is a corresponding facilities here to fill the coal to the ships and here there are different uh, berths so from them you can collect the material and then you can transport to this particular place and here also there are different berths actually so each berth is made for the particular purpose so that kind of ships will come over there and they'll uh, upload or download the material so for this we need to make a online applications so that is what we'll going to understand in this project how do we do that so you can see the different type of ships will come over here and what are the material they are having they need to add a, a transport they need to download or they need to like you no know, depends on the material so they need to transport again to the other locations so probably in this one you can see that it's something like petroleum product that you can see rail segment here so they want to transport from this ship to the this railway wagons So apart from this, there is a maintenance uh, uh, and all other labor works, all will be involved. So in order to manage everything, so this website should provide all the options. So let's understand what are the things we can add in this particular project. So we can start with admin module. So we'll enter all the main entries in the admin. Then there is an employee module to manage all the activities. There is also called the vessel operator. So that is VO, vessel operator means who owns the ships actually. So therefore they need to book the berth when they would like to come, what date and which uh, berth they want. If this is the port, so here is the berth one. So this is B1 and this is B2. So therefore this particular day, for example, 1-1-2021, uh, they want this particular berth. So therefore they can book that one. Right. So next is the vessel service, service providers. So service provider. So here the manpower people, uh, they can hire the people from them or you can also hire other services from the service providers. Therefore, it can have four modules. One is admin module, employee module, vehicle operator and the service providers. So we'll see what are the options we can provide in the each module. When you talk about the admin module, so in the admin module, we can have a country names because these ships come from the different uh, countries then qualification destination for the employees then the vessel type uh, birth type birth details here is important what are the births available in this particular report that and all you need to enter here employees approval and then vessel operator approval and service provider approval so even employees will sign up then we'll check them so all the credentials will approve vessel operator will approve and service provider that admin will approve after that they can log in and they can start working on it so employees is concerned what are they can do date wise birth book details so they can able to check the uh, bookings so what are the books done then book birth even they can do the uh, booking vessel occupancy charge sheet receipt so if they 
occupy the particular berth then they need to make the payment that is what receipt then occupancy receipt report this is the report how much money collected that is we can get from the occupancy report now it is a service provider service providing what are the services they providing all they can enter service list they can see what are the entries already done uh, list vessel operators so here is a vessel operators with they can able to see all the operators in necessary they can communicate with them so view berth wise vessels so where are the vessels so that you can, they can able to view it. because it depends on the vessels so they, they can calculate how much manpower is required therefore they can communicate to the vessel operator and then they'll provide this kind of manpower our vehicles are adi and other services so all will be provided by the service providers so next is the vessel operator vessel operator who owns the ships actually so therefore they have owned the ships so here is the berth type then berth details so port berth details they can able to view because what are the entries done in that mean they can able to view it here and then book berth so this is what important for the vessel operator they can book the berth then view service providers so they can also able to see the service providers here so these are the four major uh, uh, modules so in each module i'll explain what are the options are there like so we'll see that how the whole project works so in any case if you looking for projects i would like to buy projects you can contact us so real time or any type of projects we can help you out so communicate with us and now i'll show the demo and also if you're not yet subscribe please subscribe here and also right click on iblix tutorials and then go to open in a new tab so here once you open this you can able to see the different titles because you wish to do a projects you require a different titles okay so you can't stick to one title so then based on the titles uh, so you can plan which project is suitable for you therefore when you browse here you can see that lot of videos are available so please watch them when you have free time now i'll move to visual studio so here i'll show the project how the whole project works okay so here you can see that uh, we already opened the project uh, this is a port trust administration and here we have a aspx files all the four modules so admin start with the admin module and employee start with the employee module uh, sp service provider vo is the vessel operator right so these are the files and this is the web config file so here we have a connection string so the connection string is provided over there so because of this connection string in server explorer you can see that uh, we can able to see the connection string and once you expand this you could able to see the tables so here you can see these are the tables which are using in this particular project so we are on 45 pages here and quite big project and you can see that uh, it will have more than uh, 16 tables so managing everything it take little time so but so you want a bigger project than you need to make like this Fine. Now let us run the project. Fine. So this is the main page. So we'll go to localhost uh, some number. So if you get inside, then you can see all the options are there here. So you can go to admin. So here you can type admin admin to log into admin module. And here are the options. Okay. Country names. You can enter the country names here. Then qualifications, uh, designation. So this is for the employees actually. So if you enter all the data, that will pop up automatically in the employee form. Then vessel type, what are the vessel types? Uh, then birth type, what are the birth types? And then birth details. So individual birth detail. So here we have a container, passenger, petroleum, three types already entered. You want more types so that you need to enter here. Right. So then is the employee approval. So all are approved. So therefore nothing pending. This is a vessel operator. You can see that V3 is still pending. So you can select uh, to approve this particular vendor. Okay. Next service provider approval. So we can select the service provider. So next we'll move to the next module. So in order to go to next module, you can copy the main address. Then paste it here. Then you can get inside. We can go to as employee. Fine. So you can log in with the employee credentials. So this is okay. The password is not correct. Now here you can see the date-wise birth uh, booking. 
so per particular date you want to see like one twenty third any bookings are there so there is nothing actually so book a birth so here is the birth actually birth one birth two birth three so now birth one is required so this is for twenty third so next so if it's available so you can write the vessel operator name here uh, v one is a vessel operator then what is the vessel name so this is the vessel name remarks okay. So then you can see that uh, manager Giri requested to book the uh, birth. Fine. So date is the problem actually. So therefore, wherever date is there, we need to format it. Yeah. Now it's two string D D M M M Y Y Y is done. So now you can see that there is an error here. Then you can refresh this. I think there is. Fine. So now it's okay. It's completed. The birth is booked. Then how long they stay there? So therefore, you need to charge the money for them. So received from. Fine. So received from towards uh, birth occupancy. So amount it's uh, probably around uh, one lakh twenty five thousand rupees. Remark for one day. Fine. If you go to occupancy report, so the report will be generated. So what are the money collected? That list is available here. Fine. So these are the things we can do it in the employee. So next we go to service provider and the vessel operator. So now if we go as a vessel operator. So this is operators. So you can take V one and then corresponding password. Fine. So V O one and then your password. Uh, login. So now here you can they can enter all the ship details here. Uh, Pakistan. Okay. So we go to country. We missed out. This is USA. So now, if you come back and if you refresh the page again, so you can have India here. So vessel name. So okay. So this is the name. Grass weight um, five hundred ton. Length how many meters? Uh, it's hundred meters. Width some twelve meters. So then there is a registration number. I'll put a dummy registration number. So here you have to just give the weight. Uh, probably you can take as a tons only. Then you can save this. So therefore, that is successful. So no text is required there. Fine. So again, we can log in. V O one. V O one. Login. So next, birth type list. We can see the birth types. Then uh, port birth details. Individual port births actually. So this is a container. Then here is a book actually. So we can book the birth actually. So okay, select book birth two, and then we want on fifty twenty fifth. Next, so this is the vessel name and remarks. Okay, now uh, for two days. So save the record is saved. So now the vessel is uh, booked actually. So here is the service provider. So our service provider, that list is there here. So now we can go to one more tab. So as a service provider. So get inside service provider. Fine. So this is a service provider SP one and the corresponding password. So 
so now they can see service providing so what are the services they provide so that you can enter it here and then service list what are the services they are providing all the list is there truck and then uh, person how much price and all list of vessel operators who are all the vessel operators their corresponding number and uh, view birth vessels okay so for example on 25th any vessels are there So you can search for the vessels actually. So therefore on 25th we want to search. So click search. So you can see that birth 2, uh, vessel operator 1, birth brain 91. So this is the vessel will come on the 25th. So the service provider can know this. So accordingly they will arrange the people uh, to unload the vehicle. So these are the four modules. One is admin, employee and then this is the vessel operator and this is the service provider. So these are things we can provide in this particular project so therefore accordingly you can plan so and then you need to build this project so when you're writing so probably you can add up some more options or you can leave up plan is yours so wish you all the best try this project i think it's a good project with a good uh, quite big project so if you have any doubt let me know what you're thinking so please subscribe our channel and then you, you can comment what are you thinking thank you very much